Let's talk about the actual game because we are going to go live. So good luck, have fun, exchanged, and then the banter will continue. But here we go, round one. The first map went to Climax's team. It was a rough appearance, and he's the first man to go down as Fantasy catches the nade on the car. Lincoln down as well. A good start for Stevie's boys. Yeah, big start for them. Needed to get out of the blocks happy, and they do continue that with the frag onto Miracle, courtesy of Davey. Fantasy follows up, and we are left with just Mize, who is a long way around the back of the walk, making his way slowly, slowly through. Explosives. And I can't look at the callouts quick enough to tell you exactly where he's looking as Fantasy finishes him off and he's already dead. So we're down, and that was a nice, clean sweep from Team Stevie. I mean, in fairness, a lot of the callouts uh, that are on this is ones we never really used. I mean... We don't, we never used that. We made them up half the time. That's, that's why Kebab exists on the crossfire. Miracle gets Yazzie down. There's the nade barrage that Azuma, by the way, has uh, subbed in here. A battalion player. Wasn't a big Call of Duty 4 player, but he's uh, a battalion man that's been brought in. The Belgians bringing in some modern reinforcements to see if they can help stack things out here. He's coming to replace uh, Lincoln. Is no, not Lincoln. No. Is he replaced? See, now you're leaving me hanging because you don't know either. You don't know either. But Stevie has landed two belters, and that's what counts. It's three on three. Davey caught out by Lincoln down in the basement. So he looks that fine. Azuma up on high. Azuma will catch him down there. Azuma replacing Kosje. There we go. Thank you very much. That's who he's replaced. Two on three. Mice and Miracle. So often the last two standing. Now it's just Miracle. All on him. What can he do? The bomb plant coming in. But he's going to go down. Azuma starting off strong with a quick double in that round. Yeah, I like that they had subs ready. That seems uh, a little more organized than I think we were anticipating uh, from them. As uh, this is a great start for, for Team Stevie. But don't let that fool you. As nades come back in, Fantasy dodges one. Actually, no tagging from any of those nades. As uh, we see Fantasy hopping his way corner to corner. Just, just What I forgot about backlog is just how many corners they are. To run around each side, you are expecting someone here, there, and everywhere. And uh, Zuma's got himself into that bomb site. Fantasy will lay out the smoke and defend before making his way up to that first floor to cover. There's... No one there. Fantasy using sound to his advantage, and Explosive they will put that bomb down, and they're in a great afterplant situation, albeit they're a man down. But they look comfortable. Yeah, the retakes takes looking good, though. They're kind of surrounded. Miracle, Lincoln, everybody coming in. Fantasy's on the second floor, so he's kind of waiting for this one, but they have a site surrounded. They're just waiting to try and find a pick to get things started. Climax goes down. Yazzie does get a response. On Lincoln, Miracle's going to drop down. Desperate to find out, but he's not sure where Fantasy is, and we know that he's upstairs. Azumu holding the bomb site, looks around, gets him down. River goes down. Azumu is the man with a plan at the moment. Fantasy picking himself up at one, and that is a strong, strong start for Stevie's boys. Yeah, very strong. I'm not. I'm kind of surprised as to how weak their afterplot you know, defense was. They they didn't seem to have much of a plan despite having four people alive. Climax goes walkies into the middle of that courtyard, pokes up for the for the snipe, but doesn't get it. Does toss over a nade that I think is what did damage to Davey. Lincoln is picked off and uh, we'll see frag after frag raining in here. We lose two of the Fnatic tag players. In fact, all three of them are gone now as we're at three on three. That was a quick retake. That was a really quick... They were going for the fast plan. And Azumu got caught out trying to plant that. So it's a really strong, aggressive, responsive climax, this guy. So they've, they're really strong on the retake. And it's looking like they're going to get themselves around. And that's exactly what they needed to do. I think they made some adjustments there. They set back a little bit. They didn't hold a site up tight. And they just sat back and climax with the sniper, ready and waiting to catch it through the smoke. I'm going to follow Azumu again because he's the planter. He's the one that's going in fast on A. Watching those stop nades. Going in with Fantasy. Gets flashed up, but he's going to be able to get in. Another flash. Reigns in, has to hit the dirt, and look at this, they're on A site, it's worked out well. It's a good adjustment from Climax's boys. 
Yes, as they sit on top fence, he gets River as he was trying to make his way upstairs, and that leaves them uh, level on scores. Stevie, just two kills so far. Lincoln gets himself frag number two for him onto Davy, frag number two of this round onto Davy as uh, it will be uh, explosive planted. planted. Fancy looking across the courtyard to see where Lincoln is. He's the one he's got to hold out. Lincoln can lead that charge for the retake. Miracle dropped by Azuma, and that leaves us 3v3. Lincoln picks off Yassi, but then Climax can go no further. Lincoln's lining up, uh, sorry, it's Mize who's lining up Fancy and gets him. Here we go, two on one. Azuma, can he hold it, Lee? No, nope, because he's looking the wrong way. <laughs> Didn't hear Lincoln sneak in. You know, I, I never known Lincoln to be light of foot, but he was. He snuck in and got himself a quick trip in that game. So uh, that's what we like to see. Back on it. You know, there were three unanswered rounds, quick two defensive rounds. So good adjustment, figuring out exactly what they're doing and stopping Azumu getting that early plant once again. So we are going to see an adjustment this time. Looks like it's going to be a B-side push. Yeah, that's the uh, first one we're going to get over to B as well, but they have gone down here. Stevie gets himself the opening frag, which is a first in this map as he picks off Miracle. And Mize is waiting for someone to come out of the crawl space. There's someone to his left, though, um, as he's the last line of defense on B, but he knows there's someone there. He can see him coming out of the crawl space, and he gets him. It's Azuma who goes down, and this B push hasn't quite held out. River's going in. Yazzie yeah, picked off, and uh, we are at 3v3. Fancy is just holding steady as one creeps past. He's going to sneak around the back. Oh, the timing. Would have seen him. Does see him, but doesn't manage to land it. Second time does. So now they know exactly where he is around the backside, but nowhere near the bomb. That is loose over on A site. And Climax and River, they are split on the defense at the moment. So he's going to be able to take this down to two one ones And that's what Fancy's plan is. He's just looking to sweep out the A site, but they are sat in the middle at the moment waiting in the garage that's where he's going bombs loose he's got to check out the garage tries to run through that's going to give his position away they would have heard him there climax doesn't know he's looking the opposite direction fancy just got spotted he's gonna to have to run in go for that plant 13 seconds he's gonna try and smoke it out and they're gonna try and catch him out it's gonna be river that will come in and spray and finds him easily on the ground it's all square, three apiece. Yeah, Fancy was just five seconds too late to put that bomb down. Couldn't, after planting it, Explosives couldn't get confused. away. Now uh, we're at 3v3, and what was looking like a, a dangerous start for uh, uh, for them has, has been pegged all the way back, and uh, we go tip for tap once more, and always exciting. Oh, Duffer has shown up in chat. He has heard that he has been called out. I think we've got a million questions for Duffer uh, that we can go through as well. Um, as the most interesting man post Call of Duty 4. Um, Fantasy, though, gets himself the kill on the climax, and that's a big one to open up with. Lincoln picked off, Miracle Falls, and they're dropping like flies. It's just River and Miz, and Mahi's left standing. He needs to stop drinking that fizzy Coke. I know you, I bet I can tell that's what you're drinking right now. Uh, River, though, with a quick double, turns things around. Oh, he survives just about with a blip of health. And now we're in his two on two. Davy and Stevie. Going at it, River. Trying to wall bang, trying to find him. Davy's going to get the plant in, though. Nothing coming his way, so he manages to sidestep. Go for that lean over the side, and now River's going to have to try and work his way in, but Stevie's round the back with a deke to the head. Now it's all on Mice. Big moment for Mice here. One on two, set out the front. Has no intel on where Stevie or Davy are, as uh, he will... Get himself over to the bomb, but Stevie will pick him up. And you could see just from the way he was walking into that site, didn't know where they were. And uh, he is going to lose it out. And Team Stevie picked themselves up the lead. 4-3. So it's been three unanswered. And they finally get one back on there. And they finally broke the deadlock. But I'm not too sure if it was more down to the defense having a few errors. Azumu very aggressive in that previous round got in their faces and he's doing it again he's got miracle down he's coming out on top in these jewels it's working out well for him but river quickly finds fancy and pulls things square river's the one on the a site that's got to keep them at bay three about to knock on his door gets a glimpse of one but he gets a little tag not the frag as he daps away 
easily taking damage from the garage. Has to back in there. Lincoln does get Yazzie there. Support is coming, but it's not quick enough as Stevie gets on the stairs and Rivers down. It's three on three. On board with Mice, who's eyes on that site uh, as the action is just going to take place. There we go. He does see someone poke his head up and he cannot whack a mole him down. And we'll see a few shots get wall banged over towards him and heal back away. It's uh, my Isaac Climax left standing here as the shots get rattled into that side as the bomb goes down. Stevie looking for my can't get there. Climax is the one who goes down. And in the end, Mice will get picked up. And uh, that they were in such a perfect position after the bomb was planted. There's, uh, there's no way back. Yeah, Azumu coming in has been delivering nine kills along with Fancy. So he's been really aggressive with the SMG in the face. He's going with the bomb this time. He's going to go quick and early and his nade finds Climax. He gets flashed up, has to stop. Oh, and he manages to get Miracle down. Can he get him? Oh, he can. That is a triple. River down. Mice the last man standing. Uh-oh, smoke's coming in. He should be fine. Doesn't matter. What a huge round again. 12 kills and counting. Yeah, quick and easy. Five unanswered there for Team Stevie. And you mentioned the, the role that Azuma is playing. He's relegated Stevie back. He's uh, he's kept Stevie and Yazzie down in, in low frags. As, uh, he's picking them all up himself. Fantasy will make his way across through the middle. Walks straight into Miracle and shoots him down. As, uh, he will be picked off by Reeve from that site. Reeve helps himself to the Belgian of Davy. And... He will be Yancy that goes down, and this is just going to be chase after chase. Stevie and Ruby both pick up frags. It is Azuma who's the last man standing for Team Stevie. Once he got left, he's on the second floor of that bomb site, racing away from Climax, but can't get there. Lee, question: Maybe you know more about this than me. Is Davy the most famous man in Belgium after Kevin De Bruyne? <laughs> I think uh, Max Verstappen might have something to say about that these he's days. Uh, no, he's Dutch actually. You're right. He's Dutch. No, no. Oh, 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 I don't know, maybe. I mean, Davey's, Davey's got a historic past, let's put it that way. Um, but uh, going back to uh, talking about Stevie and almost Stevie and Climax, really, there was an age-old debate, if you remember. Should you use the sniper rifle on backlot? At the moment, it seems to be working out well, but the SMGs and the AKs are doing it for Stevie's team, and that's where the kills are coming from with Azumu and Fantasy as they get another round. The Dutch people are not happy with you uh, getting Verstappen wrong. I know, right? I've got Duffer. Uh, I've got Duffer messaging me on Steam now. <laughs> he says, "Talk about me, or I'll beat you up." I mean, who needs replacing Big D? <laughs> the Bronze uh, Adonis wants to come in. I think we need Duffer versus McGregor. That's the fight people want. <laughs> that would be a very one-sided fight. Yeah, too easy for the Duff man. Here we go. We're left with Davy and Azuma. Uh, two on three, but seven rounds to four up. They could really go in with a cushion here at halftime, but it's not going to happen. We'll go at halftime at 7-5. Backlot, you know, given that we can see this, can be quite difficult to cast because it's over before you begin some of these rounds. So just to update you, Duffer is actually training for MMA right now. He's got a fight in August. And that is that is from the big man himself. Wow. I mean, I know that he doesn't like Diablo, but he doesn't need to train MMA to, to take him on. <laughs> I don't think he needs to train anything to take down Diablo these days. Uh, so here we go. 7-5. Good start. But it's now Climax's turn to get the aggression on. They've been holding off. Honestly, I, I would say seven rounds uh, on uh, 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 Attack is pretty much what they're aiming for anyway, obviously, because, you know, it would tie things up. But I don't think that's too strong. Backlot, you know, Backlot was always a pretty even round game. I'm watching Stevie right now, and he's struggling to find a, a position that works for him. And this is something we often talked about with the scope, and he's getting pushed and taken down by an SMG of Miracle. 3v3. Climax trying to make his way in towards the B bomb site. We haven't had a B plant yet. As uh, River drops Azuma, and... Davy, the last man standing, we may not get to the point of having a beam. Plot as Davy is a lone Belgian out there and uh, he is being chased from all different angles. And there we have it. It has been a uh, round over. Important update for you. The second most interesting reason game player after Duffer and Rio has now tuned in. And it's in good Rio, to join us. He's, he's messaged me saying he's guaranteeing 
COD 4 in Twitch Rivals with a 500 grand prize burst. Next <laughs> yeah, so we'll see if that one actually happens. Um, uh, I'm not too sure on that one, but uh, get your get your Chris Mead faces out there because uh, obviously if he not, is the Twitch we'll mode. That's it. That's it. We'll take him down. Bomb drops in garage. Miracle. Just looking to see if he can make his way through. It's an A-site push that they're going for. 7-6. The score's very tight right now. Stevie and Azuma, the last two standing on defense. Miracle and Climax on the attack. Stevie with a big headshot. Finding Lincoln. Azuma is holding such a tight, tight angle on A-site. Should take him down, but he doesn't. Miracle comes out on top, and he's going to get the plant down. Now it's all on Stevie. Stevie finds Climax with the big D. Tries to go for the flick shot through the smoke. Doesn't land it. And now, uh-oh, he's supplied him. Oh, oh, whoa, okay. Wow. He's still got it, boys. He's still got it. It's going to be a defuse, and Stevie lands a belter. Yeah, not sure uh, quite how he hit that. I mean, that is... Peak Stevie to land that Explosions and uh, pull us to 8-6 for Team Stevie, who need this if you're just joining us, Duffer and Chris, who were very late, uh, because Team Stevie are down one map to nil uh, in favor of Climax. A mega performance from Stevie, just as we were wondering. Azumu, though, caught with the nades, and oh my word, that attack is stepped dead. The stop nades doing their business. Climax gets Stevie down. And Misa just has Yazi left in the defense. And bless him. He's going to have to go huge here. And a 1v5. It's not going to happen. A quick early round. Wouldn't it be nice for a, a COD 4 game that went you know tip for tat, round for round, down to the last round every time? Oh, wait. That seems to be most COD 4 games. What a game this was. As there's just one round between these two. And so we see Mize and Miracle leading that push out towards B once again. As I mentioned, we have not had a B plant yet. Uh, definitely opens up. Davey picked himself up the frag onto River. Mize is in that courtyard. They do it right. He just gets away with it. Miracle and Fancy trading. We're at three on three as Mize is going to pick off Davey in the back. Second frag comes up for him as Fantasy just walks under the end of his gun. It's a Azuma or bust. Yeah, he's got this one, it seems. He's got one down, but with Climax and Mize both closing in on a site, Azuma has a sense that this is where he needs to be. Here's the plan. Looks for the cross, and he looked the opposite direction. He needed to be looking towards his own base. It's all square. 8-8. Eight, 8-8. Eight. Eight, eight. Uh... River having a, another blinder here, by the way. Important to point out, we, we took some of the other big names. River is top fragging on this map. He top fragged on the last map. And I guess when you've got it, you've got it. As uh, Mize is again going to be the man leading that push round to B. Just thinking about it, we lose. We lose poor Davey once again. Always feel sad when Davey dies. Don't know why. Um, as Fantasy gets himself a kill onto Mize and we trade frag for frag. Easy stuff. And let's see if they can avoid some of these big nades early on. As it's 4-4 four, four at the moment. Miracle going looking. Fantasy has one to his left. It's a very aggressive play. He's, he's sensing it as well. But he is being hunted. Unable to find out exactly where they are. Stevie scoping out towards the garage. Nothing from there. He's been sitting over on that B site. Covering off the angles, but a very slow game, this one. And again, you, you get that sense as soon as we hit this stage, it was the same with the previous. Ah, fancy heard it that time. It's like, hang on, there's someone here, someone up here somewhere. They backed away, though, so it's holding him down. No bone plant still. 24 seconds and counting. They've got to get a wriggle on. Azuma's still lying in wait on this A site, but Yazzie's finally gone down. River up high on the garage. Looking for it. Bomb's loose. That's not good. That means it's surely going to be round 2-2, two, two, but it doesn't matter because the bomb's loose. He tries to run for it. Not going to happen. Fancy guns them both down. And an important round for Stevie's boys. Yeah, nice methodical round there. Almost opened up that B site. Uh, in the end, I think it was uh, Miracle who was running with the bomb and... Just took a wee bit too long. Lee, I'm going to pose you this question for the end of this round for you to have a little think. 
your favorite Reason gaming player of all time. Bear in mind that everyone in esports seems to have played for Reason once. River <laughs> opens up the fragging fantasy, is down and will get no more than he got in the last round. And so CV in trouble, but gets himself out of it with a frag onto Lincoln. Yes, he returns the favor as River is out for the count. We lose Azuma and we're at 3v3 and we just go frag for frag in this one. Miracle takes the lead for Team Climax. And what has opened up here? Where is that bomb? It is slowly, it's undecided as to whether it's going to A or B right now. Yeah, Fantasy's been the one that stepped up on the defense. So Yazzie and Davey, they are the two bottom fraggers at the moment for Stevie's team. So they're going to have to step it up if they can take down this 2v3. The bomb currently loose. Yazzie covering the garage. Davey... In and around the tin, we'll find one. Gets oh, wasn't expecting the repeak as the second man comes out, and that should be an easy shot in the back. Ah, uh, it should be climax, but he didn't manage to make it. I don't know quite how it did work, but he does in the end. Flicks up for the headshot. It's all square. Nine nine. Oh, nine. I'm still thinking. You're still thinking. Okay, we'll come back uh, to the most important question in chat. You can think about this too. Who was your favorite reason gaming player of all time? Um, so many iterations of it. Got the scarf wearing revolts who's got to be up there. Mies gets himself a thrill, gets himself the kill onto Yazzie. Miracle is following, and again, the the opening exchanges in these maps seem to be stop nades versus a peak, quick peak kill, and then it slows down into all right, what are we going to do next? Are we actually going to attack a bomb site or can we feel each other out? And if you get to a point like we're at now, where we're four on four after all of that has happened. Then it's time for some tactics to come into play. Well, it's definitely feeling that way with a slow approach. River, though, has been so predominant with that AK in hand. Absolutely delivering his mice. Unable to respond. Lincoln gets a zoomer down and suddenly it's a four on two. Big odds on favor. Stevie, though, with a quick reply. The Deagle working well. Switches. Over to the AK. Let's see what Stevie can do from Tint. He has one at the garage, one over at A site. He's got that cross. He's not looking. He's going to go for that nade. Okay, they've got a sense in garage, but unfortunately, they're not on the top. But he hears them drop down. He knows there's one wrapping around him. Sees the cross. Oh, he gives his position away and absolutely whiffs the shot. And that's going to put him in all sorts of trouble. Where's Fantasy? Can he come and save the day? Still manages to land it. Gets River down. He needs Fantasy to come and help him out. The bomb is being planted. Fantasy is over that way. He's got to get a move on. He was covering the A site and it's all over on the B. Yeah, a big mistake from River there. Well, Stevie, he had him dead to rights, he would have thought. Fantasy has himself the frag onto Climax. And now it is Mies sat on that bomb, praying for help and shows too early. And Stevie from afar picks him off get an easy defuse that that was a round four team climax to lose and they they lost it explosives diffused absolutely uh i'm still i mean i still don't really know how but they managed to just both come across even with stevie whiffing that shot and they know exactly where he was they still didn't punish him which was has cost them that round in, in all honesty nades going out let's see if anything lands here climax tries to back up looking he's looking he's looking doesn't see any nades coming down so they've adjusted and this does mean that the a site is open at the moment for climax's team to work their way in there miracle going his way through don't go for a quick plan it's very different from steven's team steven's team was going for that quick plan all the time climax is a, definitely a lot slower approach as we saw previously but this is not going well now for the defences. Azuma and Fantasy. I was about to say the last two left, but do not write Fantasy off. Azuma strikes as well. Fantasy finally goes down. It's all on Azuma now. In a two-on-one. He's the other side of the map. He's got to get across. Now, he's going to be down to two one-on-ones here because the other player's over by Garage, which means if he can Explosive come out on top in this one-on-one, -on -one, he knows where they are because he knows the plant just went in. So he's well aware. Looking at the stairs. Checking the stairs out. Did he just catch a back rim? Yes, he did. That's going to be an easy one. Now he's looking for River. River, who has been fantastic. 21 frags for River so far. 18 for Azumu. Both top fragging. And it's River again that catches him in the back. All square. 10 apiece. Well, I was going to critique River and say he was a little slow. He could have helped it a little. He could have been a little more useful in the 1v2. But it doesn't matter when you get the winning frag in the round. 
as uh, out come the nades. And we'll see whether they can make their way across. This is a racing start for Team Climax. Two players go into the site, into the bomb site, and Climax is there as well. But racing around the corner is Fantasy, and Fantasy will perhaps put a stop to it. Miracle was on that bomb site, but is running out of friends fast. River has Stevie out for the count. That's the first player loss for that side. We're down to Miracle and River left. River has. Oh, two opportunities. He does get himself the kill to Fancy. Yes, he was supposed to be tagged up. Is there anything more to come? Yes, it's River who helps finish off his bacon. And we're down to an exciting 2v2. But they forgot something after going for that fast plant. It's a very key ingredient when you plant the bomb site. It's called the bomb. Yeah, Miracle's collected it. So it looks like... I mean, we've already seen, like, B plant is so so hard because it's just so open that's which is why you very rarely see anyone go for it okay river's just gone down so this is teammate gone that's a ballsy cross from miracle just a straight yeah. open cross when he just saw his teammate go down the exact same spot that is either very clever reading or just some big brass balls from miracle there does he realize there's one of the got it should see him he does catches davy's headshot and now it's a one-on-one -on -one. azuma this time against miracle he obviously played the last one, lost out to River. This time he is covering the A site, so the plant will come through for Miracle. And now, Explosive can the old damage. veteran come out on top against this young whippersnapper from Belgium? Azumu on the move. Deagle ready and waiting to go. Switches over to SMG. So many positions that could be on this B site. He's got to check every little nook and cranny. We know exactly where Miracle is. Miracle has the time in his favor as well. Azuma's running out of time. He's got to realize that he's back around the side. And Miracle catches him out 11-10. Yeah, he just didn't... He just jumped into into his view. There was no kind of... He made it very easy to shoot him. Um, as uh, he goes through. And 11-10 yeah, in favor of Team Climax, who need just two to win the match and claim bragging rights in all glory. Great... Nades raining down. We lose Steven and Linky. Lincoln, one on each side. As Miracle is over at B and is racing behind the uh, players. There's a few shots coming through. I think it was from a teammate. As, uh, oh no! He spots Yassi! Yassi out cold and naked in the middle of the street. Dropped down. And now it's Fantasy. He's the last man standing for Team Stevie. We're going to go to match point unless Fantasy can do something special. Oh, he absolutely whiffs his shot. He tracked him as well. He had a chance to shoot him in the back, but he wanted to try and maximize his potential and catch them all off guard. But now they know exactly where he is. <clears throat> Tries to get a peek around the side. Wall banger plenty. Not a lot you can do about this situation. It will be another round. And now we have 12-10 match point for Climax. And you've now got to give us your favorite reason player of all time. Yeah, so I believe he played for him. Uh, it's it's the little lad that you, you know, kicked the ball in his face and uh, broke his uh, contact lens. Little Sock. Socklon. I don't I don't remember doing that, but yes, he did play for them. Uh, Climax gets itself the kill on the Davy. And uh, Fantasy goes racing out. Miracle and Lincoln both down. Climax last man standing. And Team Stevie not going down without a fight. It is just Climax left standing. He has just picked off Fantasy. And let's see. He's got three more to go as he sits atop the A bomb site. The bomb is there. They've all got to come to him. And uh, he is just dancing on those stairwell, trying to draw out a shot from someone to give him something to work with. But. Uh, We'll now see he, the pincer coming in from Team Stevie. So Soclon apparently is in Texas now. That's a bit of a change for him. You can't remember kicking the ball in his face at Tex 08. And basically ruining the main sniper for MYM. You, the, you know you got that little ball pit, that little one-on-one -on -one ball pit. You don't remember that? Good lord. I he had to have his patch. I have no recollection of this. Had to have a patch on his eye and a tetanus shot. Yeah, he had to get to the hospital or whatever, didn't he? Or something like that. Yeah. Then came back. It was done the warm up bit before the tournament began. Uh, it was like day two, I think it was something like that. Oh my god, Stu, you ruined the man's career. You can't even remember. <laughs> anyway, we're in a big round here, ladies and gentlemen. It's all on Team Stevie. They are one man down. And it's looking like they may go down 2-0 here to Climax's ultimate dream team of Swedes and one Brit. Last round standing. Mize is 
atop the bomb site. Sorry, no, Climax is atop the bomb site with Mize as the two of them just wait on the move coming in. Team Stevie thus far has offered up very little as they've got those two players in. Fancy gets himself the kill on Deriva. Bomb is being planted now. And uh, this is the opportunity to pull us back. What does Team Stevie have in their locker? It'll be Mice and Stevie both exchanging frags. Miracle's going in. And on that site, Lee, who's going to win it? Well, Mize up on high. He knows exactly where they are, so he's really covering off the approach well. Got a good wall bang as well, but they know where he is. And they're tagging him up heavily, forcing him back. But the clock is against them in a three-on-three -three retake. It's going to be tricky. Look at Mize down to nothing, but still manages to survive. Stevie tries the daring run across the fence. Doesn't work out for him. David gets climax down. It's a two-on-two -two as they push on site. It's going to be Mize holding the angle at the back. Gets himself one. Oh, he just about lands it. And that will be it. Climax's team will take it. Two to zero. 13-11, 13-11. A cracking performance from the likes of River. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Yeah, what a lot of fun that was. Two great maps. Uh, as Call of Duty 4 shows its class once more.